Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own easy at home facial mask. The really great thing about this mask is you only need two ingredients to make it. And the ingredients are really easy to find and I'm positive you already have them just laying around in your kitchen. Uh, the first ingredient we're going to be using is honey. And then the second one is some sugar. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, Ashley, uh, how is honey and sugar going to be helping my face? I'll explain it to you, but first I have to get on my glasses and my notes. Just kidding. Uh, honey has special acids called alpha hydroxy acids. Now, alpha hydroxy acids do so much for your skin. Um, some of the main things they do, though, is it helps balance out oily skin, it helps loosen dead skin cells, and also it increases your skin's collagen production, which increases the elastin. Um, now, the sugar is going to be the main exfoliant for your honey. The honey only helps loosen the dead skin cells, so raw sugar is really going to just slow it right off. Also, honey is an amazing moisturizer. It helps retain moisture, and the reason why this is, is because it's filled with amino acids. If you can, try to get some unpasteurized honey and natural unrefined cane sugar. Normal honey and sugar is going to work, but it won't be as well as unrefined or unprocessed counterparts. So let's get started. Alright, let's start with our honey. Make sure to put the honey in a microwavable glass or cup because we're going to be warming it up just a little bit so that it feels really good. Also, the warm honey will help increase your blood circulation and that's always a good thing, right? You'll look young and happy and refreshed even if you've been up starting all night until 4 a.m. in the morning. So get out your honey and pour, pour, pour. Don't get crazy. This is only for your face. You don't need half a cup. You just need a little bit. Only one. One. Just a little bit. See, this is how much honey I have. This is going to be fine. I could probably use this for like two applications. So like I said, don't get crazy. I'm talking to you. Don't do it. Alright, so now we just take our little jar and we're going to go microwave it. Alright, now that we warmed our honey, you can tell that it's not as thick. The viscosity level is pretty good. It's ready to go on our face, almost. So now we put the, some sugar as the exfoliant. You just take your cup and pour, pour, pour. Whenever you put the sugar in your honey, try to make sure that the sugar won't melt. Um, we only want the honey to be warm and we don't want to put like a mask of liquefied sugar. Especially if the sugar is supposed to be the exfoliant, that kind of negates the entire point of putting sugar in your honey. Also, don't put a lot of sugar. Uh, the ratio we're looking for is whenever you, like, you're like you in the shower washing or you wash your face, you might notice that sometimes there are those tiny, tiny little micro beads. Uh, that's the kind of ratio that we want. We want it to be there, but we don't want it a lot. So, stir your sugar in. Don't dissolve it, just stir it in a little bit. And then now we're ready to put it on our face. Alright, so now you're ready to put it on your mask and relax. Light some oil burners, put on some moon music, get out a few cucumber slices and put them on your eyes. Uh, make sure to leave the mask on for at least 10 minutes and then just wash it off. And there you go. This mask helps retain moisture. It gets rid of any like dead skin cells you might have on your face, like any dryness. Also, acne or breakouts, it will help with that. But don't use this mask daily. This isn't a daily mask. The most you should use it is probably about two, two times.